When it comes to barbecue or grilling, there's definitely nothing I can teach you from Germany. Clearly, you Americans are the people to teach us. And uh, that's why I do a recipe for our barbecue today that is not meat, but it's something that I'm doing since roughly 17 years and I really love it. It's made with feta cheese and with tomatoes. And I don't know if it, had a, if it has a name. Uh, at least I don't know a name. I'll have to come up with something to put it on YouTube and on my blog. However, I'll just start without a name and maybe it comes to me while I'm doing this. All right, so it starts basically with a little bit of crafting. I made these um, little aluminum ships and uh, how to do it, I'll show you here. Okay, I'll put these ships aside and uh, go over the ingredients with you. So we need some feta cheese and we also need some um, tomatoes. I also use some garlic. Not sure if I'll use all three of them, but you know, it's good to have them. I need some olive oil, some pepper and of course some salt. And I'll also use some of my homemade pesto. If you don't have pesto, that's not a problem. I just have to have some. I had to do it because I had to prune my basil and I decided to make some pesto with that. You can instead just use some herbs that you like. You can use dry herbs or fresh herbs, whatever comes to your mind that might fit with this recipe. Be a little bit creative. I am too. So just go ahead and take what you find in your pantry or in your garden or what you like. All right. so. Um, let's start with slicing my tomatoes. I first remove the green part here and then I just cut them into slices. put them on a different plate here and keep going. Okay, I set this aside. And then I will cut my feta into slices. So in Germany we have different kinds of feta, so we can choose between a softer or a firmer feta. Here it seems that they're all quite firm. And I want them about this, the, the thickness of the tomatoes that I cut previously. plate and I have a little bit of a leftover from recently where I made a salad with it. Okay. So now I will put these into my little aluminum ships and I start with tomato and then I'll add a slice of my feta. Let me pull this a little bit more into your side here. 
also and I go with another slice of tomato and feta, tomato and feta cheese, just like that. Okay, and the next one. So now I will take my salt and I will put some salt, especially on the tomatoes, a little bit. But the feta is very salty too, so it will give the tomatoes some salty taste. So don't worry that they would not have enough of the salt. And now I use my garlic and I just put a little bit on top. Okay, and um, a little bit of pepper. Not very much, just a bit. And now I use my olive oil and I could just pour it over my um, chips here and um, drain some oil over it. Um, since I'm using my pesto, I want to have the pesto mixed with some oil and then I could either drizzle it on top but I will use a brush to do it. And I just go over it like this. Mm, it smells <laughs> very much like garlic. It's a good smell, I think. I like garlic very much. I don't like the smell of it once, once you've eaten it, but I think the taste is worth that risk. All right. And on a weekend, I think, you know, if you don't meet with other people, it won't bother anyone. Okay, so now it's ready to go onto the grill. Mm -hmm. 